Morning everybody, it's uh, October the 20th, uh, 2012, and it's been a little while since I've updated. Uh, the garden, uh, the crock pot, uh, has worked really well, and uh, with the jalapeno peppers. So I'm going to show you what uh, state they're in right now. Okay, they're very healthy, we get some nice jalapenos down there. Had a good bit of rain last night. And uh, incredibly, here we are in October, and uh, we still got flowering. Because we've had some warm days too, but we've had some minus five Celsius. Some more flowers there. I'll get that sun so you can see better. Little bug in there. More jalapenos forming. I've had suggestions that, that we dig them up and bring them in. Hi, hey, Snuggles. Good morning. Hello, boss. And you can see the Swiss chard is still going strong. I've been uh, putting a little bit in my lunch. Sorry about the bad sun situation. I've been putting a little in my lunch. Um, this week is a pretty rough week for me. I had the flu, missed two days of work. Ugh. What can you do, eh? It just happens to us. I'm okay. And uh, I'm going to show you the other peppers. These were given to us for free. Totally neglected them all year. They're still flowering. I'll bring these in. And of course we still have our herbs. We have some late broccoli that's just simply not going to make it. As we're going to actually get snow there in a, about a week. So the, those are tomatillos. I'm going to save some of the seeds from them. They kind of got a citrusy uh, taste to them. Um, very pleasant. Take a look at the uh, broccoli and we'll see what state it's in. And the kohlrabi, of course. And there's some tomatoes. Believe it or not, I still got tomatoes. I had to cut them down though. It was just getting ridiculous. As uh, you go for a walk and you slide like you're walking on a banana peel. I fell on my arse a couple of times. Anyway, <laughs> here's the state of the kohlrabi. Looking very strange as usual. Now my broccoli hasn't uh, developed any heads that I'm aware of yet, but we're going to do a little search and see what we find. Nope. Boy, I tell you, better hurry up because uh, winter's on his tail. May not, uh, I don't know why it's taken so long. Cool weather conditions are very favorable for broccoli. So I really don't know or understand why. I slipped on a tomato again, just about broke my neck. <laughs> and we're going to go take a look at the Brussels sprouts right now. Um, and the carrots, of course. There's my bucket carrots. I bring them in on cold nights. You don't really have to. But uh, I don't want to set them back anymore. I want them to kind of get going. It was an interesting experiment with the carrots this year. Um, I think I'm going to grow all my carrots in buckets. Uh, they grow very well. Um, maybe bigger buckets, I don't know. Or I'll have to grow smaller varieties. I'll try some in just regular ground and see what happens. Anyway, let's go and visit the uh, Brussels sprouts. Sorry about that, guys. These guys are the cold weather champions from what I understand. They're really developing there. Nice thing about the cooler weather is these little module, modules there, they develop very uh, tight. There's some over there too starting. I have to pick some more leaves off. You pick the leaves off and the, the little balls get uh, a little bit larger. And I'll tell you what I've been doing. I've cut the grass here. Mowed down the uh, corn. Done for the year. Am I going to grow corn next year? No. Hey, Snugs! The boss. He's overseeing everything here. Beautiful morning after a lot of rain. So, anyway, um, you can tell I'm kind of tired. Been a really long, rough week with the flu and, and work in general, you know. So, anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for stopping by. Rob out.